Harlem style. Tonight, I'm checking out one of the hottest after work parties right here at Angela Harlem. It's the Uptown Experience Fridays that brings people out from all over New York City. And I'll speak to one of the people running the show, Iman Dean. She's an entrepreneur and event coordinator extraordinaire with a natural style for success. Plus, I'll speak to some of the stylish Harlemites who came out for a good time. I have always been an entrepreneur um, from as long as I was a, a kid, you know, and um, while I started to climb the corporate ladder and sort of try out different careers. I'm with Iman Dean of Hostelling International. Welcome. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about your organization and what you do. Uh, well, I'm Director of Sales and Marketing for Hostelling International New York. I always realized that I had this passion to just kind of create and curate things. So I launched my event planning company about 20 months ago um, while I had kind of done on the side as I was uh, working for a corporate uh, organization. There became the events agency and birthday party booker um, and that sort of derived from you know planning events and promoting things around New York City for close to 10 years. Yeah, I got girls that I should have made pay for it. Got girls that I should have made way for it. I got girls that I can't sell a flight back home. When you're creating an event for someone, you want it to almost be as though they're sitting in your living room. And when you have friends sitting in your living room, they're not clients, they're there as friends, as family. And you want to give that same touch that you give them as you give your actual clients. So one thing that I've you know, try to do along my career is make sure that I'm constantly going around the room and talking to people and kind of getting their, their idea and their vibes, seeing how they feel about things, um, following up a post event, um, you know, how did they like it, you know, if there was some uh, constructive criticism, making sure I'm, you know, really taking that into play and uh, applying it for the next time I do something. How do you think you've been able to maintain your reputation for coordinating really good events I've maintained you know I think that one being a woman in this industry is really really difficult um, because it's a male dominated industry and if you are not assertive in who you are and the things that you want um, it's easy to be walked over um, so I think one standing strong and firm in my ideas and my beliefs is one and two uh, just the integrity of being a woman and, and, and holding true to my values and my morals. Uh, my father raised me and my father always told me to make sure that when I walk outside, you know, you want to leave a lasting impression on people, not because of how you dress or, you know, the image that you think that they want you to be. Be the, the woman that I've raised you to be and, you know, stay true to who you are. And so I think that me staying true to who I am, my foundation, my, my morals is what has been able to give me that longevity um, and keep my reputation. Day four, you got attitude on na -na, yo. No agua, yo. Stomach on flat, flat, and yo. What's that? The great thing is that because of my reputation that I've kept over the years, um, people have asked me to join in on events. So um, the Uptown Experience actually was created by my friend Janito, who's my partner in this event. And Janito said, you know, hey, man, you know, I've wanted to work with you for a while. You know, we both have the same ideals in terms of what we want the event to, what we want our events to look like. And I would love for you to join me. Why did you decide to partner with Iman Dean? Did you reach out to her? And like, how did that even come about, that partnership? I reached out to her. I met Yvonne uh, a couple, few years ago through a mutual friend, and I've been watching her work, and she's been doing amazing things. And you know what? I'm, you know, I, I'm out here working hard as well, and I thought that it would be a perfect, a perfect situation. Yeah, I need it all right now. Last year I had drama, girl. Not right now. I would never go and chat. What we talking about? I think I just sort of adapted this image of, you know what? I'm a I'm a young black girl and uh, beauty for me is not how you look, it's who you are inside. And so you know, I, I put my clothes on and you know, I, I put out the image of just being 
loving who you are, you know, and just being a whole person and forgetting about everything that, you know, you sort of see in social media um, and reality TV shows. You don't have to perpetrate or be somebody else. Just be exactly who you are. Um, and once you are able to do that, your own personal style and those things will just sort of come naturally. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. Like one day I like rock and roll, next day I like, you know, a blazer and some jeans. My bodysuit is from Target, which I've had this bodysuit for probably like three years. Um, and then my white blazer. It's summer, but it's not so warm yet to where you can't wear a blazer. So I figured, you know, I'll throw on a white blazer, kind of break up the black a little bit. I have a pair of Stuart Weissman ankle boots um, that because I shop at Off Fit, I got them for like 50% off. Um, my father always said, you know, you can tell what type of person they are by the watch that they wear. So I always just make sure I like to have a nice watch on. And then this is just a little Neiman Marcus uh, bag that I got. I mean, it's it's funky, it's a little clutch, you know, you just throw everything in it. And it's one of those things that you can pretty much wear any color. So, if it's unique and it's fabulous, then it must be Harlem style. I'm Selena Hill.